we ended up getting our first look at the RTX 50 series of graphics cards. We got a bunch of updates regarding artificial intelligence and gaming that I wanted to share with you because it's pretty interesting. Gigabyte ended up releasing the fastest NVMe SSD on the market right now. AMD is launching a new mini PC that I obviously wanted to share because I am into the emulation scene and I do think that that is going to be an interesting topic to cover. MSI at Computex 2024 introduced a bunch of really cool things. I have something really cool to talk about with this right here that I want to do. AMD Radeon RX 8000 RDNA 4 graphics card got an update. And then lastly, just something funny that I wanted to share. And that is that no current Unreal Engine 5 game can run at native 4K resolution with decent performance. But first of all, we're just going to go over the article covering the RTX 50 series. So this is the NVIDIA GPU. Again, I'm not like a computer science whiz. I like using hardware and testing it. I'm not. This is a lot of gibberish to me. So that's that's all that. And then there is also a digital trends article that was covering. Yeah, here it is. So it goes over the pricing and release date. Literally doesn't cover anything about that. It's all there for SEO so that when people search it, they're sent to this article on Google. This right here, we've known for quite some time. A Copite 7 Kiwi, the guy that apparently leaks new specs every single week. And then we got right here, the RTX 50 series of architecture. And all this stuff is just stuff we've covered. RTX 50 series performance. Don't trust any performance without actually having the card in your hand because AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA all do it. They over-exaggerate everything every single year, time and time again. I don't think Intel has done it with their graphics cards yet, but be, be aware of this. So next up is an update regarding artificial intelligence. And I just think that this is super interesting and I wanted to share it with you. Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money. You do not pay me anything until you see the video, the performance, the benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff. So again, link down in the description below. So the first thing is on-device AI models inside of video games. So pretty much you're gonna be traveling an open world game you'll come across a character and you'll literally be able to chat with it and at computex 2024 we did end up getting a bunch of like booths i guess like gigabyte had a booth and there was a couple of other booths just showcasing like these ai models where you can literally talk to it on your computer and i'm talking like a literal model where you talk to it. So we have also Project G assistance where you're going to be able to like get in-game help if you get confused about something or you want to get a specific thing inside of a video game. It's going to actually be able to like guide you, I guess. And I know people are going to say, oh, that's going to ruin games, but you don't have to use it. Like if it's going to ruin the game for you, then don't use it. It's kind of like people that like using mods or cheat codes inside of video games. If that's ruining the game for you, you don't have to use mods or cheat codes. Some people like myself don't want to sit down on their butt and play a video game for 70 hours before they get something. So we use cheat codes in order to obtain that thing in like two seconds. <laughs> we also have real-time language translation, which is pretty cool because we already have these like th there's earbuds on Amazon and other marketplaces where you, where you can actually buy these and use these right now. We also have chat RTX, which is, this is kind of, we've had this for a while on computer. We also have ray trace or RTX remix, which is just a tool that you, that allows you to like whatever remaster classic video games. But I am wondering whether or not Nvidia is going to have some sort of an app for all of us to do this with the next generation graphics cards that we don't necessarily need code in order to do this. Because again, Nvidia is really focusing on artificial intelligence which is going to make everything easier for everybody. So this might be a lot easier to like remaster. Oh my goodness, this, that's actually funny. I literally have it open right now. So this like, for an example, like this is some games that I've been playing. Like if I wanted to remaster the Jungle Book on the Sega Genesis, Lion King on the Genesis is superior to the Super Nintendo version, by the way. And then whatever, these are just the game. I'm just using it as an example. This is Launchbox for those of you that are wondering. 
It's just an emulation software, which is actually literally why I wanted to, uh, is it the next article? No, this one right here, which is why I wanted to cover it. And then we also have upscaling old videos with DaVinci Resolve. I'm sure you guys are fully aware of the, uh, I'm not going to say it because I don't want to get unmonetized, but there's a lot of this going, floating around on uh, the adult websites. Fast forward video editing with CapCut, SFF ready PC cases and GPUs. And then we have 120 FPS AV1 recording. I'm pretty sure right now we only have the ability to record at 60 FPS with AV1. And then we also have photo restoration with RTX. So I know I'm simplifying this a lot, but in simple terms, all of this is basically, and I'm fully aware that PC is going to be much more capable of this, but this just sounds like our PCs are becoming a phone. It's kind of like what that reminds me of. It's like our phone has all these smart features. Now our PCs are going to have all these smart features. Whether or not that breaks our PCs and ruins our experience, I have no idea because we don't have the ability to use it all. This right here is just an update regarding the NVMe from gigabyte it's a m.2 20 whatever you guys see all the specs right here again if you're on phone if this is too small for you and you're not watching on a computer you can literally take the screen and whatever pinch if if it's too small for you that's you chose to watch it on a phone not me <laughs> so we have the four terabyte version the two terabyte version and then the one terabyte version and all the specs are whatever they're as far as like the read and write speed they're all pretty similar and then if we come down here, there's the benchmark for a crystal disk mark. And um, yeah, and then we have photos of it, which I actually really like. I actually like this photo. This is a cool picture. I think they did a good job with that. And then this right here is just a couple of new mini PCs from AMD, the UM880 and then the UM890 Pro. There's no benchmarks or anything with it, but it's going to come with the new Ryzen 7 and the Ryzen 9 CPU or APU. And I'm just curious to what this is going to perform like for stuff like this. Like if I put, because I actually do this right now and I don't understand how, oh my goodness, I have one right here. So I don't, hold on, I'll show you. So these, like these, I don't know how companies get away with this. Like I don't know how, like this has almost 90,000 games installed on it and it's being sold on Amazon. And then we have like these consoles as well that are like just being sold on Amazon full of games. I don't understand how companies get away with that. But either way, the reason I'm saying that is because I actually do that locally. I, I, I'll get these like little mini computers and then I'll take all of this and I'll dump them on a USB drive and uh, I'll sell it to people local. I don't do it online because I don't feel like getting whatever for reasons I don't I need to explain. So then we have right here just some more specs about the... Uh, actual mini computers and they're going to be right around 400 bucks and then the other one is going to be about 500 bucks which to be fair mini computers you can pretty much get the cheaper one it's not going to be that much of a difference so yeah that's pretty much all that and then this right here i know that this is pretty ugly but i have this right here for a reason so i want to do this because i'm actually in so my friend down whatever he lives a little ways away from me he actually owns like a sign shop and a 3d printing thing and this is like my entrance into making like it's a bank as far as like the the e-commerce goes is because i want to design uh because you know this is going to happen with companies and i want to do this soon because i know i'm going to be left in the dust if i don't do this soon so i'm i'm i want to make a display where this is where all your thermals will be so because this looks ugly like imagine just having your ram because that's what this is this is very fast it's 10,000 megahertz ram but having that right there looks so lame doesn't it i think it looks lame so if you could have like a display to cover this where it goes over your thermals and all that kind of stuff plus maybe even some cooling aspect to it like have it like have maybe a fan under it or, but either way the reason i was saying that is because i think that that's an opportunity for me to get into that so this right here is a pretty ugly, I, I don't like the, there's one MSI motherboard that I do like, and I'm going to show you because it's actually pretty cool, but I don't, this looks like a race car motherboard. It looks like some sponsored race car. Tell me it doesn't look like that. And then this right here is another one from MSI that looks like an ASRock motherboard with whatever, with just like a block of metal slapped on it. This right here looks like an Asus motherboard and MSI is att attempting to copy the asus that's what this looks like one of the M a asus tough motherboards this is the one that i like right here and not only do i like the design 
there, there is one thing I don't like, and that's this right here, that the CPU connectors, they put them over here for some reason. I don't think that that's going to look cool. It's just going to add more cables because you kind of, I mean, you kind of look at your computer from the front. You don't look at it from the back, you know? So like having the cables over here, I think is whatever, just going to be better. But, but the thing that I think is interesting is I'm wondering if this means that we're not going to have to power our, our graphics cards because you see this right here is a power which is like the power that we use for our graphics cards. Whoa. Um, and I think that that's going to be pretty cool. I think that's interesting, the design and the layout. But there are some, I'm pretty sure it's Gigabyte. That, uh, so where is it on this motherboard? Okay, so it's probably on the side, so I can't show you. Uh, so Gigabyte, so this right, this right here, Gigabyte, like on the Z790 motherboards, they put it like right here or something. But the problem with that, and it, it even baffles me because it's like literally is their own graphics card. Like if you get a Gigabyte RTX 4090, it comes with this like L-shaped bracket. And you literally can't even install their L-shaped bracket to put, to hold your 4090 up because they, they, they swapped the USB-C to like whatever right here. And it gets in the way of the freaking, their own bracket, literally. Uh, but anyways, again, this one right here, I don't, I just don't like the designs that they chose. Yeah, I just, I don't like them. Even their graphics cards. Like, I think that's ugly looking. I don't like the way that looks. I don't think that's cool. And then this right here is big fatty. I don't, again, I don't like the way it looks. Their new stuff is pretty ugly. And then this is artificial intelligence, 3D printed stuff. Again, I swear I had this open for a reason. It's because I do have the guy that I'm working with right now. So I'm trying to design stuff. Like, I'm so, I'm at a, I've hit my limit with um actually let's continue because i don't want to get too far off topic so this is liquid cooled memory and stuff or hold up is that the memory or is this the no this is the ssd right yeah this is the ssd cooler so this is a new ssd cooler i think it's pretty sweet looking rgb Again, so really this is just like new stuff from msi but amd radeon rx 8000 rdna graphics card Okay, here we go. I was going to say, man, please tell me you have a chart. I really hate reading. <laughs> if it's not if it's not obvious. So this is uh, so AMD RDNA 3 generational GPU lineup. There's a Radeon RX 5000, the RX 6000, the 7000, and we also have the 8000. And that's the comparison between everything. For those of you that are interested, I'm trying to hold it and talk about things to not bore you, but you guys had long enough to look at everything, so we're going to move on. So there's no current Unreal Engine 5 games that can run at native 4K resolution with decent performance due to the engine design. I thought that this was funny because we get comments, or I get comments on this all the time where like, oh, you absolutely need a 4090 to play video games. Yeah, if you want to play broken video games designed with Unreal Engine 5 because it's unoptimized, but... If you want to play video games like Forza Horizon 5 that you're seeing in the background, this game literally gets like 500 FPS at 4K, bro, with a 4090. I'm like exaggerating that, but it gets a lot of FPS. It's like 200 plus, <laughs> and it's a triple A game. There's not many that, that are capable of that. But anyways, the reason I, I just wanted to show you guys that because it's artificial intelligence. It's our, we already have this. So NVIDIA, we know they're focusing on this. So I think that they're going to be able to do something pretty cool. But I'm going to end the video. I didn't realize I've been recording for over 40 minutes. I'm going to have to edit it down. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.